Whether you are a seasoned water exerciser or just beginning your journey in water fitness, the Why Water Workout is designed to connect mind and body so that you understand the purpose of the moves and can exercise more efficiently in your pool. This workout can be done in both deep and shallow water. The purpose of the warm-up is to acclimate the body to cooler pool temperatures, gradually elevate the heart rate, and prepare the muscles and the joints for the workout to come. Let's move on to a cross-country ski with no arms. The leg sweeping backwards is an active stretch for hip flexors and quadriceps. The leg sweeping forwards is an active stretch for gluteals and hamstrings. As we go through the first set of eight base moves for 30 seconds each, we will be reviewing the muscles targeted by the water's resistance. As the bent leg moves upward with hip flexion, you are targeting the iliopsoas, also known as the hip flexors. As the bent knee moves downward with hip extension, you are targeting gluteals. Press down more firmly and slightly behind if you want more emphasis on the glutes. As your legs scissor out, you work the outer thigh or hip abductors. As your legs scissor in, you work the inner thigh or your hip adductors. We are going to put all eight moves together and do them for 15 seconds each. Putting the basic but effective moves together engages the brain and makes the workout exciting. Why do we do the moves that we do? This workout will explain the muscles being targeted in the primary upper and lower body water exercises. It will also explain why we travel moves and how to engage the core and more in the water and then sprint forward for four. You can feel that intensity start to build up as you travel through the water's resistance. And then go back for four. You're creating a current when you go forward that you have to work into on your way back. You're performing flexion and extension at the elbow joint targeting the biceps as the forearm goes up and the triceps as the forearm extends down. And then travel your ski laterally back in that first direction. You're keeping your hips forward, headlights on. You're moving your ski sideways and then move back. This is again building up intensity, working that inertia, this is hard. Side arm raises going up target the medial deltoid. Arms going down target the latissimus. Move number two is a knee tuck. Tuck your knees up, both knees tuck up, and then return to vertical. This is a good core exercise because the spine flexes as the knees tuck up. Adding spinal rotation as you reach for the ankle will also light up your core and target your obliques. The action of removing the arms is a technique for adding more core involvement to the movement. Lifting the right leg to the side is now working outer thigh to balance out muscle groups. Okay, you are probably noticing a little change in scenery here. Yes, I am now in the shallow end because I want to prove this workout can be done in both deep and shallow water. We are now putting together all 24 moves in a pool hoedown. Now two jacks forward, two jacks backward. Get ready to move on to your rear kicks. Rear kicks right lead, four sets. Right leg only side kicks for four, three, two, Power jacks, no arms for four. Knowledge is power, and I am confident that you will achieve greater fitness results by exercising smarter and more efficiently in the pool.